Today I am tackling sparse arrays from HackerRank, and this is a medium problem. There is a collection of input strings and a collection of query strings. For each query string, determine how many times it occurs in the list of input strings. For example, if you have the strings, uh, a list of A, B, A, B, and A, B, C, um, and queries A, B, A, B, C, and B, C, we find two instances of A, B, uh, okay, sure, yep, yep, and one instance of A, B, C, and zero of B, C. So for each query, we add an element to our return array. So we have the results two, one, and zero. So let's see. So for example, you have arrays. So what I'm already thinking is, first time you loop through the initial array, you can just take a hash map of what you've seen. And then for the second query, you just do a lookup, and that basically constructs your output array. The strings need to match exactly, right? Like here. So D, E, F. There's no D, E. Oh, there is one D, E. Okay. Okay. So that's fair. So I think yeah, I think this is um, actually quite easy. This uh, this is a medium problem. I think that's kind of weird. Let's do. Uh, so I'm going to keep it in like memory. <laughs> Take a little better over here. So in your memory, and then uh, we do a for loop for const string of strings. Also, let me uh, zoom in here. Okay. Let me just make sure it's visible so everyone can see. Um, string of hello, strings, strings. Yeah. Uh, for that and memory of the string is equal to the previous occurrence. So I'm just going to copy that. The previous occurrence, or if it doesn't exist, zero. And then we just add one on top of that. And then literally, I can just return queries as a map of you know, query and then memory. Um, of that query or zero if it doesn't exist. I think that should. I think that's it. I think that's it actually. Let me run code. If, it, if it's as simple as that, then I, this is not a medium problem. Okay. Sure. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was very quick. I, see, here, here's a challenging thing too. Like I feel like I've gotten a lot better with understanding these problems. So maybe my gauge of like what's easy or medium or hard is not what it used to be, but. Um, I think that was pretty easy. It's just like a hash map as your solution. So anyway, um, I think I might actually do another challenge here because that was like really short. So uh, let's do this other one, waiter. Okay, I'm actually going to stop the video and kind of split it up because I think it makes sense to like have one, vid one video per problem. So I will come back with this one called waiter.